Welcome to our educational video on pest and disease management in agriculture. Effective pest and disease management is crucial for maintaining healthy crops and ensuring food security. In this video, we'll explore strategies to protect your crops from common threats and maximize yield. Understanding how pests and diseases impact agriculture is the first step in creating a robust management plan. We'll cover common pests and diseases along with practical solutions for your farm. Throughout this series, you'll learn about integrated pest management, biological and cultural control methods, and the safe use of chemical controls. We'll highlight the importance of regular monitoring, early detection, and record keeping to make informed decisions. By the end, you'll be equipped to tackle pest and disease challenges effectively. Stay with us as we delve into each topic with real-world examples, expert advice, and actionable steps. Let's get started. Let's start by identifying some of the most common pests that can wreak havoc on your crops. In agriculture, certain pests can cause significant damage if not managed properly. Among them are insects like aphids, which feed on plant sap, weakening plants and reducing yield. Then there are caterpillars, notorious for munching on leaves, and beetles, which target both leaves and roots. Mites can colonize quickly and devastate crops. Each pest poses unique challenges requiring specific strategies. For instance, aphids can transmit plant viruses, caterpillars and beetles reduce photosynthesis by eating foliage, and mites cause discoloration and leaf drop. Understanding these pests and their impacts is crucial before exploring management strategies. You'll see how integrated approaches can effectively manage these pests and protect your crops. In addition to pests, various diseases pose significant threats to crops. Common diseases include blights, rusts, mildews, and mosaics. These can devastate fields, reducing yield and quality. For example, Late blight can destroy a potato crop in weeks, and powdery mildew affects many plants, stunting growth and health. Rusts and mosaics, though less aggressive, still impact productivity. Accurate identification is the first step in disease management. Recognizing symptoms early and understanding the pathogens involved allows for timely interventions. You'll see how integrated pest and disease management strategies provide holistic solutions, combining cultural, biological, and chemical methods to keep crops healthy. One effective strategy for managing pests is Integrated Pest Management, or IPM. IPM integrates multiple methods to control pests sustainably, focusing on prevention and minimizing chemical pesticide use. IPM promotes healthier crops, reduces pesticide resistance, and is cost-effective long-term. By creating a balanced ecosystem, farmers can naturally control pest populations. We'll delve into IPM's components and how they offer comprehensive solutions, benefiting soil health and biodiversity. IPM aligns with ecological and economic goals, making it ideal for modern agriculture. Up next, We'll explore biological control methods and how natural predators play a pivotal role. Stay tuned. Biological control methods offer a sustainable solution to managing pests. By harnessing the power of natural predators, farmers can keep pest populations in check without heavily relying on chemical pesticides. For example, ladybugs control aphids and parasitic wasps target caterpillars. This method reduces environmental impact, promotes biodiversity, and can be cost-effective long-term. Biological control also leads to resilient farming systems, enabling crops to thrive with fewer interventions. You'll see how integrating various control methods creates a holistic approach to pest and disease management. Implementing cultural control methods is key in preventing pest and disease outbreaks. One such method is crop rotation, disrupting pest life cycles and reducing pest populations while improving soil health. Maintaining proper sanitation, like removing plant debris and weeds, can significantly reduce pest infestations and disease occurrences. Clean equipment and proper disposal of infected plants are simple yet effective measures. These cultural methods, 
though basic, are incredibly effective when consistently applied. Prevention is better than cure. Next, you'll see how to responsibly use chemical control methods to further strengthen your management strategy. Now let's discuss chemical control methods. Pesticides can be effective but must be used responsibly to mitigate adverse environmental impacts. Follow guidelines, proper application techniques, and use protective gear. Always read and follow label instructions to protect yourself and the environment. Consider broader environmental implications, select pesticides that target specific pests to avoid harming beneficial insects. Use chemical controls only when necessary, in line with integrated pest management principles. Choose options with minimal residual effects to protect water supplies and soil health. Responsible pesticide use preserves biodiversity and agricultural health. Up next, we'll explore mechanical control methods like traps, barriers, and manual removal. Mechanical control methods are practical for managing pests without chemicals. Methods include traps, barriers, and manual removal. Traps catch pests, preventing crop damage. Barriers like nets or fences protect plants from larger pests like rodents or birds. Manual removal, though labor-intensive, is effective, especially for larger insects. By inspecting and removing pests by hand, you can significantly reduce their numbers. These eco-friendly methods can be part of an integrated pest management approach. As we progress, you'll see how disease-resistant crop varieties can further protect plants and ensure healthy yields. Planting disease-resistant varieties is a powerful method to safeguard crops against outbreaks. These crops are bred to withstand specific diseases, reducing the need for chemical treatments, which lowers costs and benefits the environment. For example, Phytophthora-resistant potato withstands devastating pathogens, and LR24 wheat combats leaf rust effectively. These varieties provide natural disease barriers, promoting sustainable farming. By choosing disease-resistant crops, farmers secure yield and promote long-term soil and ecosystem health. Next, you'll see how monitoring and early detection play crucial roles in effective pest and disease management. Regular monitoring and early detection are crucial for effective pest and disease management. Consistent crop monitoring helps identify potential threats before they become major problems. Tools like pheromone traps, visual inspections, and technology-driven solutions are vital in this process. Early detection allows prompt action, minimizing yield impact and reducing the need for aggressive control methods. It's about being proactive. Regular monitoring enables informed decisions and timely actions to safeguard crops and the environment. Next, you'll see how meticulous record-keeping enhances these efforts, providing a data-backed approach to management. In the battle against pests and diseases, detailed records and data analysis are indispensable. Documenting every pest sighting, treatment, and crop condition builds a comprehensive database. This data helps identify trends, track management effectiveness, and anticipate issues preemptively. Robust record-keeping enables tailored decisions for your farm's challenges. Data analysis turns records into actionable insights, revealing patterns not immediately obvious. For instance, you might find pests are more prevalent in certain seasons or weather. Leveraging these insights optimizes management strategies. Next, you'll see real-life case studies illustrating the power of these practices in achieving successful pest management. Let's look at a real-life example of successful pest management. Meet Farmer Johnson, who faced a significant pest problem last year that risked his entire yield. He implemented integrated pest management strategies, starting with regular monitoring and early detection using traps and scouting for timely action. He introduced biological control agents like predatory insects to minimize pesticide use. Cultural practices like crop rotation and sanitation disrupted pest life cycles. These efforts significantly reduced pest levels, saving his crops. Farmer Johnson's story highlights IPM's effectiveness, providing a blueprint for managing similar challenges.
Next, you'll see how these principles also apply to successful disease control. Now, let's look at a real-life example of successful disease control. In this case study, a farming community tackled a severe plant disease outbreak that threatened their livelihoods. They started by identifying the disease through observation and testing. They implemented a multifaceted approach, including biological controls like beneficial microorganisms, adjusted cultural practices, and strategic chemical treatments. Detailed record-keeping and data analysis were crucial in this process. Their efforts led to healthier crops and increased yields, highlighting the importance of a comprehensive, integrated approach. Stay with us to discover more insights and strategies for managing pests and diseases. To summarize the key takeaways for effective pest and disease management, regular monitoring and early detection are crucial. Integrated pest management combines various methods to control pests sustainably. Biological control, using natural predators, maintains ecosystem balance. Cultural practices like crop rotation and sanitation prevent outbreaks. Chemical control should be used responsibly to minimize environmental impact. Disease-resistant varieties reduce the risk of major infections. Keeping detailed records and analyzing data empowers informed decisions. Implementing these best practices ensures healthier crops and better yields. Stay tuned for concluding thoughts and an invitation to connect with more valuable content. We hope you found this video on pest and disease management in agriculture informative and empowering. Implementing these strategies will help protect your crops and ensure healthy yields for seasons to come. Remember, each step makes a significant impact on your farm's health and productivity. Don't forget to subscribe for more educational content on agriculture. Stay connected for the latest insights, tips, and best practices. Join our community of farmers, students, and agronomists dedicated to sustainable farming. Together, we can cultivate a future of resilient crops and a healthier planet. Thank you for watching, and happy farming!